Hello again, and I'm James Taylor, the author of Jazz and Improvised Piano, and I'm going to go through Lesson 7 now, which talks about shells. Now, shells are a minimalist technique. Um, that means it, it sort of requires a minimum amount of notes um, that we're going to use. Um, in the Jazz Piano course, I've written down a blues sequence, which basically is... Um, the first line is C7, F7, C7, C7. So, there, well, the blue sequence requires a string of seventh chords. They're all seventh chords. So, um, first of all, that first line now, we've got C7, F7, C7, C7. So, for each chord now, all we're going to do is put down the root at the bottom and put down the seventh at the top. Now, the seventh is two steps below the upper root. This is a C7, first of all, so I've got a, a C at the bottom. Now then, there's the upper root, the upper C. I've, I come down two steps from there, one, two, and that gives me my seventh. So that's what we're going to play for a C7 chord. It's a C and a B flat. The B flat is two steps below the upper root, two steps below the upper C, one, two. Similarly for the F, I can play an F at the bottom there, and there's the F there. If I go two steps below this F, one, two, I get the F7 chord. That's the F and the E flat there. Again, the E flat is two steps below that F, one, two. So for the first line then, we're going to play a C7, an F7, and two C7s. So we get this effect. C, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, C. Notice I'm holding each chord for four counts, so we get a bar that's four beats long. So again, it's just C, seven, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, and C, and C again. Now the next line is just two Fs and two Cs, so we get F, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, and two Cs, two, three, four. This is all written down uh, on page 17 of Jazz and Improvised Piano, by the way. Um, and then, finally, we get a G7 chord. Uh, there's our G at the bottom, and there's our upper root. So we count down two from there. One, two, takes to the F. And that's a G7 chord. So it's two beats. So um, this last line goes G7, F7, C7, C7. So G7, two, three, four, F7, two, three, four, and C7. Add another C7. So the entire sequence is this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And the second line is two Fs and two Cs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the third line is a G7 and F7 and then two Cs. G7. F7, 2, 3, 4, and 2 Cs, 3, 4. Now then, I hope you've looked at the, um, uh, the blue scale improvisation video that I gave you. Um, C blue scale is this. And if we just use the, um, the various ideas that I showed you in the, um, the first uh, lesson in C blues, you get something like this if you play the right hand over the left hand sequence. Notice that I'm keeping these, this left hand sequence in very strict time. This is very important um, because it, it sort of the time holds the piece together, so it's very important that the time is accurate. The right hand, on the other hand, can improvise um, using all sorts of jaggedy rhythms over the top. So. If I play with the chords in the left hand and improvise in the right hand over the top, this is what we get.
that was using the various riffs from the uh, from the first lesson in C blues. If you look at the video on jazz rhythm, you've got a few other ideas. We got. So if we can use a sort of mixture of these riffs, we can get some interesting effect. Okay, have fun with this. Um, it's all in jazz and improvised piano, uh, which is a book that I highly recommend you get. Um, so yes, uh, these different ideas. The first set of ideas is on the um, first lesson in C Blues video that I produced, and um, some of the other ideas are on the, um, the jazz rhythm video that I produced. So um, have fun with that, and start playing in shells it opens up a whole new world uh, because the left hand can then support the right hand um, through a chord sequence, which is a very useful thing. Have fun.